Overbound here. I'm going to show you guys how you can take photos in Photoshop and turn them into pixel art. Uh, first we need to get acquainted with the quick selection tool over here on the left. If you don't see it, it's underneath the magic wand. Just select the magic wand and hold down and this menu will pop up and here it is. So select that. What this tool does is it works like a brush for selecting things. It even has the brackets to make the brush size bigger and smaller and it has a menu for adjusting options similar to the pencil and brush tools. It will, with one click, it will attempt to um, find edges and stop selections at those points, at those edges. So if I click here on the inside of the bird, you can see it found a selection all, all the way around the bird. Uh, it selected all the gray feathers and found the, the back of the bird and these white feathers down here. If I click again, it will add more to the selection. Here I got the whole head. Click just up there to get a little bit more. Um, I can continue to click and add to the selection, but what might end up happening is I might select too much. You can see there I got a little bit of the background. So what I can do when that happens is I can zoom in closer, reduce my brush size with the control or with the uh, bracket keys, and hold Alt down, and that will make this a deselection tool. You can see the effect up here in the menu, and it has a little negative sign over the brush. And I'll click, and I'll be able to get rid of some of that extra area. I could finish this here, but I have a selection I made earlier that's perfect. You can see I selected the legs and the beak and the tail. So with this, I'm just going to copy this onto this second artboard here. And now I'm going to add a background. So I just made a new layer and dragged it behind the seagull layer. And I'm going to take the paint bucket tool and paint the background nice bright green. Up here in the menu, image, mode, index color. And it'll ask me if I want to merge layers. And I'll say OK. What we just did there was we told Photoshop we want to reduce the, the amount of colors that can be used by this image by indexing them and taking control of them right here. Photoshop will then downsize the images to the amount of colors you choose. Right now I have it set to 8, but it could be 24, it could be 1, which would just be the background. If it was 2, you would just get a silhouette of the bird. 3, it adds one more color, 4, so on. Uh, 8's pretty good in my book though, so I'll keep it at 8. I'm going to zoom in here close and show you a couple more options. You can um, set the dither here to diffusion, which will create a little pattern where the colors transition. You can set it to 50%, 100%, it's a lot. Um, or you can use this pattern uh, setting and that creates this nice little pattern. I use the pattern a lot for backgrounds but not very much for um, people and animals. Noise is another option which I don't use much but it's there if you want it. Okay. So I'm happy with the way this looks. I've adjusted um, my settings here. Under palette, I want adaptive. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I just want to remove this green background. But first, I'm in index color mode still. And I need to get back to RGB because um, Photoshop will limit the options available to you if you're in index color mode. A lot of the tools don't work in things, so RGB is the best mode to be in. Okay, so now I'm just going to go get my magic wand tool and get rid of this green. Oops, I need to get make this a regular layer rather than a background layer, so I'll just double click the little lock there and hit OK. Now I can delete this background. Okay. 
zoom in close here there's a little bit more green I want to get rid of that color of green so I'm gonna select it with the magic wand tool and delete it as well okay now I just have the colors I want and I can go ahead and downsize this now this is the part of the video that sounds like a broken record um, if you haven't already you need to go to preferences up here in the edit menu in general set this to nearest neighbor image interpolation to nearest neighbor it um, prevents Photoshop from adding colors when you rotate or distort images with the free transform tools so I'm gonna go ahead and right click this having my marquee tool selected and hit free transform and again up here in this menu make sure that nearest neighbor is selected here as well so I'll now downscale this and I'm going to turn my grid on so I can get an idea of the size each square is 16 pixels so we'll keep going down until we're happy with the look of it I'm looking at the bird and seeing different it changed the pixels change as I scale it and I'm trying to choose one I like um, I can always adjust the size later manually uh, without this and and keep the look I want that I th thought was best as I was scaling within a you know 10 pixels or so um, so I have the bird here at the size I want but if I hit choose enter to confirm the change um, it will actually not look exactly the same so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out to 100% and I'm gonna turn off the grid and the um, select or the free transform tool by hitting control H both of those are turned off and then I'm just gonna do a print screen on my keyboard that will save this screen in memory in my clipboard okay so now I'm gonna zoom back in and I want you to watch what happens when I hit enter the pixels change that is kind of a funny thing that Photoshop does it rearranges the pixels after the fact but that's why I copied this um, to memory so that I would have this exact version that I scaled to from earlier so I just pasted it in here, selected it. Now I'll delete that layer since I didn't want the whole thing, and um, paste it back in the in the document and delete the background. And you can see now I have both versions of the bird, and they're just a little bit slightly different. And I could now come in here and start um, changing things a bit to get exactly the look I wanted with my pencil tool. maybe use the press E for the erase tool here fix that beak a little bit that's cool and I could just spend you know 20 minutes or so messing with the shading on this and uh, getting exactly the look I wanted but for this tutorial I think this is a good place to stop because I've shown you all the the basic idea of it um, when you're doing this you might have to try the process a couple different times if it doesn't work the first time try a different background color before you index the color um, try to adjust the levels or the contrast in the image if you increase the contrast sometimes that can give a better result so those are things to keep in mind as you're trying this technique out and experimenting um, that's all I really wanted to show you guys today thank you for watching uh, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel um, and share the video if you don't mind. It really helps out a lot. Uh, thanks everyone. Overbound out.